Welcome back to my bathroom and welcome to episode 24 of Is It Today it's a Timu fall haul. We've got a lot of high quality gems in here. We'll try all this together and rate it one through 10. I'll put all the item links below in the description box. And also don't forget to check out my website. It's also in the description box. I'll be posting some stuff from this unboxing. Unboxing for a dollar free shipping. Don't forget to do your tithing. Subscribe, like, click the buttons, bells, whistles. It helps me to continue to make these really high quality videos here in this bathroom. Cheers. First up, we have some fashion. This is a crop top sweatshirt. It's $13. I'm wearing a size small and I would say it fits true to size, but I probably would size up. I like my sweatshirts to be big, bigger than this. This is a little tight, ladies. I'm actually really impressed with the quality on this. Hang on, we have to wait for the dogs to quit barking. The quality on this is nice. It's a thick piece of material, cotton, polyester. I'm impressed with this. This one looks good from up close with the lights on. This is a solid nine. Close your eyes. Okay, open. We have a crow lamp. The best part about this is it comes with a light bulb. I love when people just get it right. Like when you buy something that needs batteries and it comes with the batteries. The crow holds the cord. Come on, grab it like this. Whoa, flick the switch. And then it's just a crow holding a light bulb. This is actually a really nice high quality crow. It's made out of, I don't know what material this is, but it's heavy and it's potentially breakable. The only issue with this, it doesn't hold this very well. They need to put a little tongue or something in there to clasp that. Look at the detail on that. See that? And they actually put it in a box this time. Wow, check out that manufacturer name, manufacturer. Look at that. Wonder how they came up with that. This is $18 and they have the exact same one on Amazon for $44. This is a solid 10. Maple leaf earrings. It only came with one little backing. That's okay. These were $2. These kind of look like, you know when you go to a really sketchy gas station and there's a glass cabinet with a little lock on it full of devil's lettuce accessories. Do you need all that? Can't you just use paper or something? And beside that, there's a lot of very, very expensive jewelry. That's what this looks like. This looks like gas station jewelry where maybe it came out of a quarter machine, little 25 cents, or maybe I got it at my local gas station in the fine jewelry selection. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna give these a one. A conservative one. All right, speaking of pot, we have a pumpkin pot. Here she is. Also, a weird thing about this box is as soon as I opened it up, it did smell like the devil's lettuce. Maybe that would explain why it took so long to get here. I don't know about it. This is pricey. This was $35. It's glass. It comes in white, orange, gray, and black. This is the black one. Although I would call this gray. This is disappointing because it says on the top here that you cannot use this on the stove. I thought it was a dupe to whatever that one pot is that you can use on the stove. Dutch oven. Thought we were gonna be making some soups. And by making soups, I mean, I'm gonna get the Panera broccoli cheddar soup in the bag and I'm gonna dump it in here. Add a few pieces of fresh broccoli and I'm gonna say I made it. So I guess this is a serving dish for when you have people over, you would pour the thing in this thing but it's not even gonna keep it warm. I guess I like this. It just looks like some junk they'd have at TJ Maxx. Y'all ever been to someone's house that had a TJ Maxx credit card and you don't know where to sit? Pillows all over the damn place. A sign in the kitchen that says, kitchen. A sign in the laundry room that says, guess what? Laundry room. Oh, where's the bathroom? It's the one that says bathroom, bitch. Can't you read? Those homes are great and they're wonderful, but they make me nervous. They make me nervous because I don't really know what to do. Okay, you come in my house and you know what to do. That's the couch. Swipe off the dog hair and sit on on it. You, you can sit on it. It's fine. There's the lint roller if you need it before you leave. This is disappointing to me. I don't think it's $35. Pretty. I give it a three for that, but it does look, well, hell, it looks like a gray pumpkin. Another dupe from Amazon. This is a Gatha the spoon holder. This one is $2. The one on Amazon is 19. You put the spoon right here between her legs and pretend this is my countertop. She holds the spoon up so it doesn't touch the counter. That's great. I usually just set my spoon on a paper towel. I'd call this an upgrade, 10 out of 10. Here we have a mock neck sweater. It comes in tan or black. This is the black one. The sleeves on this are slouchy, but in a good way. You will have to wear an undershirt under this because the holes are kind of large. It has a slit on the side where the back is a little bit longer and the front is a little bit shorter. I don't love this, but I don't hate it. It did feel a little boxy, but in fairness, I do have boxier, like manly shoulders. Um, this was a size medium. I would have sized up if I had a do-over. I'd give this a five. It gives Rue 21 vibes. Remember that store? This is a pumpkin purse. It's $11. 
It's a hard shell. You can carry it like this, or you can carry it with this gold chain, a shoulder bag, that's what it's called. It does go a little loosey-goosey on you when you put the strap on. Here's what it looks like. Well, let's scoot you back, scoot you back. Here's what it looks like as a crossbody bag. They should make one of these sides flat so it would rest against, right? Or would that make it look worse? Pretty big bag. You could fit something in there. I think it's fun. I'd give it an eight. These are fall colored PVC flats. This is like a jelly sandal. They came in a bunch of different colors and they also had clear. They fit true to size. They were a little snug. They're not super comfortable, but let's be honest. Anytime you're making your toes do this like a bird toe, how is that gonna be comfortable? These are actually really fun for the price. Did I tell you the price? These are $8. If you're somebody that can handle the pointed toe, your toes being all crammed together, then these are a solid seven. This is a sunflower seed hair clip. It was $2. The listing made it appear that you're going to get at least two of these. The front picture is a picture of corn on the cob, sticky rice, sunflower seed, and something else. So it made you think that either you're getting six of these or you're just getting two. You only get one. Although it's a very realistic sunflower seed, I think that's a little pricey. This isn't Claire's, which by the way, I was in Claire's the other day and it looks like they get most of their stuff from Timu too. They just quadruple the price and then do this little gimmicky thing. Buy three things, get three things for free. Bitch, quit that. Let the price be the price price all the time. It's just like Hobby Lobby. Why are my watercolors $10 on Monday, but if I come next Monday, they're 50% off their five. They're just $5. Worse than a bad boyfriend with all these mind games. Anyway, buy three, get three free eclairs right now. Here are my maple leaf earrings. These are $2. Oh, I love an earring that makes a little jingle jangle, like a dog bell, you know I'm coming. So you can run away. Third, what? That thing just made like a really weird noise on me. Is there a ghost in here? Is this the ghost of Timu? These are fun for me. I'm gonna give these an eight. And really they did have some very similar ones at Claire's. This is a knitted two piece. It comes with the top and the pants. $25 for this. I got it in a size small and it was a little tight. I wanted it to be tight so it'd be like one of those thermals. Keep me where I get cold. And I get a little sad too. I do have seasonal depression. I don't know what to do about that. I just cry. Anyway, while I'm crying, I want to be warm at least. So this I thought would help keep me warm. This was hot. It's a nice thick material, has a little, whatever that's called, elastic band. The only weird part about the pants was the crotch area was weird how they did that. See how it does that? You know, it's um just making it look real profound there. So I didn't like that feature. The top has, what is this called? A boat neck? A boat neck? I don't know, but I do not like that neckline on me. I feel like $25 is a lot for Timu. I've noticed they're kind of jacking the prices up on everything, the more popular it gets. Shame, shame. We're supposed to be shopping like billionaires. Now I've got a $40 pot that doesn't do jack shit and a $25 thermal set that makes me look like I got a moose knuckle down there. I'm not feeling like a billionaire. This is not something you would want to like wear out to Walmart or anything. It's not very flattering. Girl, go ahead and wear those Looney Tune pajamas. But in the comfort of your own home, I would give this a four. Here we have yoga socks. I do not do yoga. Oh yeah, look at that. They've got the psych ward grip on the bottom. It's a very thick material. These were $2. They come in a few different colors. This one is shade, they call it bean paste, which is not very flattering, but have you ever had red bean ice cream? 10 out of 10 for these yoga socks. It makes me wanna think about doing yoga. Think about it. Here's my new acorn purse. Check it out, ta-da. I will say they did a great job with the photo on this. It must've been a small child holding the acorn purse because it looked like it was going to be a big acorn. This is $5 and while I was doing a little research, I noticed that there was a seller selling these in her Etsy store for $35 and claiming they were homemade. Girl, they're homemade in a factory somewhere, but not by you. This is a nice acorn purse for a baby. You know what, you could do one of these. You know how those Disney adults do, they wear one of those things, it's got their credit card, fast pass, whatever the hell. You want an Apple Pay, get it out of my acorn. This is a crochet acorn. Again, a little deceiving with the listing because the front photo shows 10, 20, 30 acorns crocheted. I thought I was gonna get that many. I got one, which is fine. It was $2 and it fits very nicely in my acorn purse. Oh, did I rate the purse? I think this purse is a two. My acorn here, I mean, that's just cool. That's gonna go good with my miniature collection, which, be looking out for that video. I'm working on that. I mean, I'm not working on it. It's in my head. I'm mentally working on it. Physically, I haven't done, I haven't done anything with it. 
but it's coming soon. I'd give that acorn a nine though. These are pearl studded mom jeans or boyfriend jeans, whichever the one is where your crotch is at your ankles. This is me trying to be trendy and it didn't work. These don't look great on me. They are really cool though. They have the nice pearl details in the back or the front. On the model, they looked like they were cropped jeans. They weren't like that on me, but I am really short. Could just be my height. I like my pants to be way up here, way up here. I want the waistline of the pant to hit the end of my bra, the bra line. I want them to be meeting. Keep your pants on and keep them high. They're personally not for me, so these will be on my website, but I did think they were cute all in all as far as the little studs. That would be great with these plastic PVC flats. In my mind, putting them on someone else, I'm gonna actually give them a nine. A pumpkin brooch. This was $2, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Do you see that? It has little rhinestones on the stem. Wow, Timu, really impressing me. It's got like a 3D vibe going on. I love it, I think it's great. It reminds me of, I used to have this teacher in like I think third grade and she would always wear brooches kind of like they did at TGI Fridays. I used to be staring at that. She'd be talking about math, science, English, whatever. She's, I don't even know what she's talking about. Sound like Spanish to me. Um, anyway, she always had great jewelry and this reminds me of something she would wear. And I always wondered, do you work at TGI Fridays on the weekend? You know, you always have that one teacher who's also a stripper. This is a pumpkin snack container. Whoa, it's plastic. Oh, it looks like that um, Tupperware, you know, vintage Tupperware. Doesn't really line up, but that's okay. It also does this. So it's a two tier snack tray. This was $4. Look at that. Whoa. You know what this would be good for? On Halloween, I set a table out way away from my house with a candy bowl. And it's not because of the pandemic or anything about touching it or whatever. Fiddle all around the candy, I don't care. I just really don't have the patience to say, wow, cool costume. 400 times. And then the dogs go crazy every time you open the door. Get your own candy. Happy Halloween, see you later. But one year, one little brat dumped the whole damn thing in his basket. And I put out good stuff too. Lottery tickets and stuff, give that to your mom. This is a six, right? These are scrub daddy dupes. It's shaped like an angry jack-o'-lantern. It's a dollar and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just like the scrub daddy. I'm on a cleaning hyperfixation right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got really bad ADHD. I go through these hyperfixations on food, activities, hobbies, everything. Right now, my hyperfixation is still on eggs and cleaning. I'm in a mood to clean. And I'm riding this wave because it's not often I feel like clean. I'm at clean because my head is so I have to clean every day to kind of how do I explain this in words? When my house is in order, it makes my head feel like it's in order, even though it's not. But it's like, you tried, bitch, you tried. So this is gonna be great. You can put the spoon handle there and then the spoon, you know, the mouth like that. I think that's great, 10 out of 10. More fashion. These are fishnet boot socks. You get three sets for $2. They have black, burgundy, and gray. I thought these would look really cute in these boots. These are Doc Martin dupes. We'll call them Mock Martins. $36 for these are the platform ones. They have the little zip on the side. It says B-L-L-E-N on the whatever that is. They fit true to size. In my opinion, they're way lighter than Doc Martens. They're much more comfortable, I guess you could say, but I don't think Doc Martens are comfortable at all. I was having a crisis, I'd say about a year ago, whenever Doc Martens came back. How long ago? Was that two years or three? I don't know. Every day's Monday, every day feels the same. Every day feels the same. I drove my ass to DSW because I was like, I'm gonna get some Doc Martens. Everybody's wearing Doc Martens. I'm gonna get some Doc Martens. I don't need to be following trends. I tried on the Doc Martens and I tried to convince myself, oh, those look nice, those, those look good. No, they don't. No, they don't. They're heavy. It feels like I'm walking with ankle weights. So then I came to my senses at DSW. My soul met my body and had a coming to Jesus moment, if you will. I decided, well, it's just best if I be myself and whoever that is. And for me, that's Converse and Vans. That's all I'm wearing until I die. Bury me, bury me in my Vans. I don't even skateboard. I'm gonna wear them. Um, anyway, I just wanted to try these. These Mock Martins are definitely a lot cheaper than the Doc Martins. Same kind of design on the bottom. I'd give them a six. They're obviously not Doc Martins, but if you were looking for something similar, this will do. And the little boot socks actually looks cute. What did not look cute are these. You couldn't see these on the Mock Martins. They weren't tall enough. But these types of socks have been all over my Instagram ads. They are mesh, so mesh socks and it has little cats on them. The cats look angry. They're cute and stylish, but not comfy. It felt a little, it's not scratchy, but I don't know the word. Pantyhose, you ever wear pantyhose with a pair of sneakers or something? That's what it felt like. Well, that's what it is. These were $2 and I'd give them a three. This is a knitted turtleneck. 
It has wide sleeves. They're not bell sleeves, but they're wide. It's got a wide knitting pattern, so you are gonna have to wear an undershirt with that. I like this, but it kind of looked a little boxy on me, very similar to the other one. It's an otter shape, otter. It's an odder shape where it kind of goes like this. Whoop. I prefer the ones that go out and are more flowy. It's just a personal preference, but I did like it. I love a big turtleneck, a big comfy sweater. It's $14. It's not gonna keep you warm or anything. I'd give it a seven. For $11, you can get this. This is a wreath, wreath. I'm not sure about it. It's okay from far away, right? But definitely looks better in the picture. I'm gonna put this on my door so my neighbors know I'm excited about fall. I give it a four. And lastly, we have something for the doctor, a pumpkin dog toy. Look doctor, something new. He'll like it later, right? $2 is a lot for that, but you're gonna like that, right? You're gonna like that? All right, that's it. That concludes our Timu fall haul. Thank you for joining me here in this bathroom. Also, big thanks for the cat advice on the cat, the hair loss problem with the cat. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shave the cat and I'm gonna give her a really good shampoo and then I'm gonna change the food. That's what we're gonna do. Thank you for that. Also a really nice reminder because I was just having this conversation yesterday and actually the day before with two totally different groups of people about how the internet can be awful, but it can also be great. Look at how many great things are happening right now. All the information that's free, all the entertainment, is this entertaining to you? I hope so. If not, I'm not doing my job here on this little small space in the internet. All the stuff. Yes, it can be bad and terrible and awful, but it can also be so good. We have to focus on that. Focus on the good. That's the words of wisdom today. We're gonna focus on the good. Even if it's one good thing, if you have 300 bad things happen to you today, you're gonna find one good thing. You can find it. You're beautiful, you're smart, you're funny, you're talented. You're watching this, so I know you have a sense of humor. <laughs> focus on the good. And I'm really listening to myself today because you know I said I have seasonal depression and it's getting a little chilly in the morning. It's getting a little crisp and it makes me feel sad. Also, I hate that time of the year where you are wearing a sweater in the morning and then at 12 o'clock you're wearing a tank top and then at six o'clock you're back in a sweater. You gotta take like three showers, it's too much. Positive thoughts, positive thoughts, create positive things. Oh, I've got my yoga socks on. Anyway, that was enough rambling. Nobody really cares. Does anybody care? Let me know. I'll see you next week. We're gonna do a miniature haul probably, I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, until then, have an amazing week and I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool.